I want to show you guys my radar install and um, the setup. I'm using a blend mount, so let's take a look. The way it works is that it's tapped into um, the driver, so when this, it senses there's a driver, it will power on the radar. So when I get in and I step on brake, it will power on the radar here. See? I'll show the setup. I'm using the um, M1 dash cam with the uh, escort, so it pair up together like this. It's just an additional camera, so you can see how it looks. And when I get out, it turns off the da uh, the radar. And when I get back in and I step on brake again, it will power on the radar. I've been running at this for a while, and um, I think it works pretty well. So I'm gonna show you the install and how I ran the wire. It's um it's it it came out from here if you can see it but I'll, I'll show that more detail there but it'll go in here run up the headliner drop down the a pillar down to the kick panel and that's where it's being tapped into all right let's see let's see the install now so from all the video this is a 2022 uh, model 3 is a standard range but um i think all the wires pretty much the same so the consensus i've been gathering information online is that on the right side on for the uh, passenger you see a bundle of wire, but it's not the one in the front, but it's the one toward the back. And there's a red, a red wire here that we're gonna tap into. And there's an area that you can ground your bolt here. I, uh, I found a screw here. Sadly, I don't know the size, but this one fit pretty well. The way I test it is, it, it's the same bolt that goes in the trunk. For those of you guys, you hook this accessory in the trunk. I have a video, um, I'm gonna show you where this is. but. This screw fit here and it fit there. Um, the kit I'm using is gonna be from Blend Mount. It's mirror tap here, and this is the model number. Uh, sorry, I'm losing light here, so I just want to quickly show you. And here's the hardware harness kit here. Um, behind here, you can see this two bundle of wire, but it's the one in the back. It's the red wire here. If you can see it, let me see. Can you see it? All right. So that's the wire to the 12 volt and it's a 12 volt switch when the drivers get in it will activate when i step on brake and then this one is where i i ground the area so this is the grounding right here and this is the uh the blend mount uh, i got it from blend mount and have a fuse built in so it's going to stay in here on the passenger right uh, kick panel over here so that you can remove this whole piece by um, just popping it up from the back like this it comes up like this and it slides out and you can remove this whole panel without no tools so if i ever need to access this fuse it'll be easy which i don't think i ever do um, but now it's a uh, wire in already that's the area where it's tapped for those who is interested all right so um <laughs> i use this old gift card here to uh, pry out here it was a little tight but i got it out i'm gonna see if i can get away with just pop it like this without removing it pop this piece only right here so I can feed the wire in down here through this neck without removing the whole thing just barely enough gap so I can run my wire so that's what I'm gonna do real quick all right guys I'm making progress so I was able to um, open the side real quick feed it through like this without actually re removing my mirror so now I'm gonna close like this as to make sure I give myself enough slack uh, since the radar mount on the right side so I got to account for it and that should be good all right this is how it's looking now mm -hmm. i left this wire slightly a little longer just in case if one day i want to get rid of the camera i can have room to plug into the radar so i will zip tie back a little bit but this is how it's looking i'm gonna remove this trim piece here so i can run my uh, wire down the a pillar uh, it came out quite easy with this big piece this is the um, pretty much the the anchor point just pull it straight back it's it's held on by some um i guess what's that thing called some rubber um a wire here i guess they keep it from flying in case the airbag come out here's the airbag so to be safe you want to run this wire behind the airbag to make sure it doesn't they don't get caught in the way don't do don't do like this i see most people they don't open this they kind of tuck like this and then feed it this way which is bad you want to go all the way down away from the airbag so that it will go down here just do it right guys just do it <laughs> it's the effort is worth it for safety man all right so 
here's the cable the cool thing about this blind mount cable this part is flat so you can tuck it behind it easier so we're gonna follow this existing wire trail already and you can zip tie it like this and that way it stays behind the airbag and all the way down and come down through here and that's pretty much it's, it's pretty much the perfect length really so finally so. it goes here go down kind of keep it in the fuse I tuck it back here or you can stuck it somewhere here like something like that oh there's a foam piece here it goes here okay and then it goes into I guess into this hole here All right so put together I'm done All right, I got it in um, it's easier if you remove the weather seal pull this piece up it come it will come out it'd be easier to put it in and then put the weather seal back and then the final piece will be this piece here which will go down here and then anchor in behind this weather seal here so one of the first thing I did is remove this piece first remove, remove this first test the power then go backward instead of trying to mount it and then go back this way and then of course all the extra wire you can have it bundled down here instead of trying to hide all the extra wire inside the uh, headliner but I do give a, a, a good amount of slack in there in case I need to uh, play with that pretty much that's it all right here's the final look the setup when I get in the car, I step on the brake. It will power up the radar. I, I'm using the M1 dash cam here, so it digs the chain over. But uh, same thing, it's working. And then uh, when I get out, it turns off. Look pretty clean. We get in, step brake again. Radar power. All right. So, let me re recap. Some of the tool you need is this, an old gift card to remove the mirror housing, a pry tool. This is handy for the A-pillar and um, for the uh, for this mirror piece here. So this is the handy to have. Um, and then also help for the A-pillar. So some of the tool you need to have. But other than that, um, it's pretty good. All right, thanks for watching. If you think this video is helpful, please give me a thumbs up because uh, it did take some effort I think it took me longer to try to record because I don't have a cameraman than um, the install itself so uh, if you like more video like this um, I will try to continue since this is my uh, third model 3 here so I'm gonna do some mod to it <laughs> so I just wanna help you guys out alright thanks bye alright if you're still watching I wanna show you some angle how it look and then of course from the outside I forgot to show you guys that so let's take a look I do have tinted windshield with 70% in the front uh, it's, it's Expel XR Plus I just want to show you how it looks from the outside <laughs> Alright, that's it